What is the single thing that stood out the most to you as you were watching the practice? The thing that stood out the most was um, Coach Wilkes. Oh, wow. He is extremely hands-on with the um, defensive backs. Um, let me set the scene. Two big fields. Um, I I haven't quite figured out how. I, there's one field that's like, you know, our bleachers where the public sits. Mm -hmm. um, there's a field right in front of us. Then there's a far field, and then there's bleachers over there, and that's premium seating for fancy people and mucky, muckety mucks. Mm -hmm. And from what I know from last year, they do a pretty good job of rotating. So today, um, they start off with you know stretches and warm ups, and you know quarterbacks are throwing the balls, receivers you know running around, people just kind of stretching, not really a formalized stretch like you did in high school, but just kind of just you know, just everybody kind of doing their own thing. Um, on the far field, you had the offense, um, the linemen, quarterbacks, receivers, or weapons. And then on the field closest to us, we had DBs and linebackers and linemen. And where I was set up initially – was right there with the DBs were, and that's where Coach Wilkes was, and he was he was really working hard with the DBs, um, real hands on, like literally, you know, working on jams and doing back pedals. His back pedal for an old dude is um, <laughs> pretty tight, and um, you know, that was one of the things I had did a little list of things that I was looking forward to seeing. Like last year, the thing that jumped out off the page to me day one was just how chirpy um um Charverius Ward was just mm -hmm. real real in every period in when the DBs were working he was talking back and forth with all the DBs and then of course when they got the team he was back and forth with the offense um so I was wondering to see and that energy was kind of infectious and it kind of carried through Ayuk um, was taking that stuff from him. What's going on? Oh man, they they, <laughs> they were um, and then you know, but and then by the time it was all over, Warner was in the act and Jimmy Ward, and they were really just they they for most of the camp last year, they just kind of punked the offense. It, it really was <laughs> it was really kind of sad. Um, <laughs> but so I was wondering how that energy would translate with a new DC, and mm -hmm. sure enough, their practice was very crisp and very energetic, but not nearly as loud. There was a lot of um, teaching and learning going on. Mm -hmm. Coach Wilkes was really, really, he was really coaching them up. Um, and, like, it's, it wasn't really assistance, like you see with some of the other position groups. You know, the the main guy, like, there is kind of just kind of watching. Like, Kyle, he didn't really do a whole lot of hands-on. It's like he's kind of just coaching, coaching, and, his, and the position guys – you know, Greasy and the other guy, Hankerson, and the other position coaches are kind of, you know, he's kind of just managing the whole thing. Um, Wilkes wasn't like that. It was, it was real, real hands on. Um, and I found that to be interesting. And it wasn't, it wasn't a bunch of chirping, chirping. It was, it was really like, it was a lot of teaching going on. And mm -hmm. they were, they were engaged and energetic. So that was like the first thing that jumped out to me. Um, second thing that was interesting was that um last year during like the team and install periods you know they put up the um no camera no video signs and you couldn't record um because obviously they don't want to want you to see any any kind of trade secret stuff yeah. you know um individual practice you know the drills that they're running i mean that's ubiquitous and there's really nothing you're gonna learn they're not wise. they're not they're probably not really showing the bag though like at the same well time. not well um i it wouldn't i would i'd push back on that because you know i i've had people say that to me that they're not they're probably not emptying the bag but um my thought is what they're not doing is, you know, when you do the math on how much of those um, 
public practices are of the tie of the entire 45 hours that they're allotted to practice. It's like almost a third of it. Yeah. So they're not burning all of that on just drills. I mean, I just, there's no coach in America that would waste that much time on just you know stuff that was just ubiquitous you just you just don't have that kind of time to throw away so it might not be like coach singletary he, running the oklahoma drill for two hours straight <laughs> no nah, yeah well he, he <laughs> might but um but yeah it was it was interesting that they cut um they they cut our our camera access off like a period earlier than they did last year and coach um wilkes Again, I don't know what they were doing over on the offensive side. It was too far away for me mm-hmm. to see. Um, defensive linemen weren't really doing anything. They were kind of doing get-offs on air for the whole time. It wasn't really anything interesting. But in the DB linebacker slash period, they were actually like holding up signs and working on pre-snap and post-snap line i mean i mean coverage adjustments you know Mm -hmm. so on the fly quarterback snaps the ball you know this guy drops back this guy moves up and i was all set to be a never note kind of making notes (laughs) and my man came over and he didn't they were like not even want to even have my phone out i mean i wasn't (laughs) you know he was like put your phone in your pocket i'm like dude i'm not filming i'm just kind of trying to take notes so anyway he was like a hard ass about could it. Could you so, could you actually have an, a physical notepad? I will tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't today. Um, so I was just kind of interested to see how that broke down. And I mean, I know you can't put a whole lot of stock in it, but which how many times it was three safeties, how many times they were in base, how many times they were in nickel, how many times they were in dime, and and what the switches were from like base to nickel and how they were doing it on the fly. That kind of stuff is interesting to me. And I it, I just thought it was interesting that they were um, doing that with signals. So, I mean, this is the first, first live practice. Yeah. Um, and then also I know they weren't working on blitzes this early last year, but they blitzed a lot in team um, today. Um, he was sending, he was sending DBs from everywhere. <laughs> and um um, Hufunga almost got Trey once. Um, and then there was a second time where Oliver came on a blitz, and it was Trey did an excellent job of getting the ball away, but the coverage was great, and it would have taken it would have been a, a great catch, but Debo kind of dropped the ball. Um, but yeah, so it was um it was really it was it was there was a lot going on, and um, but it was good. It was it was really it was really interesting. It seemed like the defense was was they were operating a lot further along um, than they were to my recollection last year. 